Stop trying to look through my Intellivision shirt and see my nipples. Skip it up and that up. So how long have I been talking about a next gen switch or an upgraded switch? Would <laughs> it's been since like 2017 now, and it's like obvious shit is obvious. Yes, we're we're, we're getting a next gen switch, just like the the sun is going to come up in the sky tomorrow. Well, actually, technically, there's something could happen, an asteroid could hit, and then we don't have a sun, and then the Earth goes into a winter, and we all die. That wouldn't be fun. But you get my point, though. It's obvious that there's going to be another Switch, and it's going to be more powerful. It's going to have a better screen. It's hopefully going to have analog sticks that don't drift. Yeah. Well, it seems that the next Nintendo Switch, I'm not going to call it the Switch Pro. It's a next-gen goddamn Switch at this point is going to have a lot of horsepower and an even sexier screen than just an upgraded 1080p panel from Sharp. They may be going OLED. This is what comicbook.com had to say about it. I'm going to read it to you, then we will discuss. Now, these rumors come from someone who's known as a prominent data miner called Skiris M or Skyers M. If I'm saying his name wrong, I do apologize. And he found out some interesting information and the files reference, I guess this may be the code name of the next gen switch. It's called A-U-L-A or ALA. Almost sounds like it could be OUYA too. Like OULA. I hope the next gen switch isn't called like OUYA. Could you imagine the irony in that? Well, anyway, this is what comicbook.com has to say. Naturally, the findings are littered with technical jargon that is really neither here nor there. What's important to note is that the files suggest Aula may support 4K resolution based on its support for a real tech chip capable of 4K media. Meanwhile, it looks like the Aula model will make use of a fancy OLED screen. Of course, both of these would be massive upgrades to what the Switch currently offers, and the former 4K support has been parroted by just about every previous rumor, that is true, I covered almost all of them, and report about the unconfirmed machine. Now, for the Three of you who don't know what OLED is, if you have even a mid-range phone like the Google Pixel 4a, which is their budget phone, all, virtually all phones have an OLED screen, unless some go with high refresh rate LCD panels once in a while here and there, but OLED is organic light emitting diode. It's the same on the high-end LG TVs. It, it, it's very, it's the same tech. And the nice thing about OLED is that it's self-emitting. It, it emits its own light, so it needs no backlighting, so you get the deepest blacks you could possibly get. And watching like HDR footage on your phone, your phone is probably, even if you have an OLED TV, your phone is arguably, if you have a, like a Note 20 like this, one of the best screens you have in your house. And if Nintendo goes with that tech, for their next gen switch that's going to be amazing and especially if they make it as capable i keep hearing rumors about this that the next gen switch is going to be as capable as a base ps4 yeah we, we saw how <laughs> cyberpunk 2077 runs on that but for a portable uh, on the ps4 i should say before for a portable console having base ps4 power in something that fits in your hands is pretty incredible so I'm psyched about all this, and if it has OLED, and the thing is, one thing I could say about OLED screens, I use my screen on my phone all the time. One thing I could say about OLED screens, I've never had burn-in on any of these. I know there was some Google phone back in the day, I don't remember which one it was, that had uh, burn-in issues, but it's few and far between. Every single OLED phone I've had, which is virtually all of them, I've never, and I use my phone all the time, has never had burn-in. So that's not something you have to worry about on this next-gen gen switch if it has burn-in. Now, I also heard too, and maybe that rumor was misinformation, maybe the OLED rumor is misinformation, but I want to put it all out there so you know that I, they're going to go with a 1080p high-end LCD panel, I believe it's LCD, from Sharp, which would be fine too. That would be, I would be okay with that too. So we'll have to wait and see, but all I know is that the next gen switch is going to be a beast. I'm looking forward to it and it's time for it. Nintendo, even though the switch is still selling well, the switch is getting up there in age. The, the chipset that's inside the switch was dated when the switch first came out and now it's getting real long in the tooth. And I want to keep seeing those awesome 
third-party AAA games like Doom and Doom Eternal keep coming to your platform. I'm looking forward to the next-gen Switch. It's time. This is Rich of Review Tech USA signing out. Have a good one. Hey, if you enjoy my content, consider becoming a Review Tech USA member. I'll have a link below in the description. I live stream now on this channel all the time, and it gives you access to cool emoticons to use as well while I live stream. Again, link below in the description. Thank you for your continued support.